Broadcasting. Additional funding is provided by this station and other public television stations. Hello. This week, Presente brings you a documentary on the innovative and exciting sounds of the Grammy Award-winning band called Los Lobos, which means the wolves. A product of Los Angeles, Los Lobos is an eclectic quartet whose highly charged sound draws on such American roots music as 50s rhythm and blues, Zydeco Cajun, blues and rockabilly. But that's not all. They also draw heavily on the Tex-Mex sound known as Norteño, music that is Mexican-American in origin. Their music is infectious and irresistible and makes you want to dance, as we'll see in a live performance at the renowned Club Lingerie in Hollywood. And now, Los Lobos and a time to dance. Uh, we went to see them. I can't, I can't recall which uh, club it was at. But after that, we were hooked. It kind of became the uh, our obsession for a while. Just any time that they would play, we would go out and see them. The thing that uh, is intri intriguing is uh, the number of instruments that they use. The different instruments, so bringing in the bajo sexto, bringing in the accordion, bringing all these instruments that are not normally used in a normal rock and roll context. They don't use them traditionally. It's a, tr a traditionally bass sound, but they just they go out and play them and adapt them to the modern sound as well as bringing that traditional element in. And they go out and they they rock out. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be somebody, I'm gonna be a real gone cat, then I won't want to. Everything's gonna roll my way, I won't need nobody. I'm gonna be a real gone cat, then I won't want to. You can cry, you can sigh, sigh, sigh. You wanna whine, I'll look at you and I. Go hold a I'm 
I'm gonna be a wheel someday. I'm gonna be somebody. I'm gonna be a real long cat, and then I won't want Yeah, yeah! met them uh, they were opening for the group I play with the blasters at the whiskey and I I'd never heard of them before or anything like that they were there at our sound check and I said what the hell is going on here where these guys come from and I just talked to them I you know at that point I had no idea I'd be playing with them or anything else I mean, that night I was there for both shows and they were the audience just couldn't believe what they were hearing the audience went crazy I mean they I remember being in the blasters dressing room after the Lobo show and they're saying what how are we gonna follow that That's perfect. Do it again. <laughs> 